hello everyone i welcome you all uh, to our channel let's learn automation and uh, today we are going to see some uh, miscellaneous cases or the example where we can we should able to find out the broken link on the web application okay so possibly we have multiple web url and from that web url we need to check which is working and which are not so for that let's shift to the eclipse and here I will create one class and the name of the class will have broken link uh, program will require the main method okay here I will write down the code so we have already have the web driver manager driver manager dot dot setup let's check the form dot xml am i using the older or the newer one older one i am using okay so if it is for uh, selenium 4.6 then there is no need of this line too so let's use that line Let's driver driver plus to new chrome driver and here I will open the dot get and here I will try to open the URL like google.com I will use so this is not required actually we will use this only Okay. so now this uh, particular uh, URL or application can have multiple number of um, URL or um, links so let's find out the number of link so we know that if we need to find out the number of link so what we can do like uh, we can use the anchor tag over here okay how we can use the anchor tag so let's try to find out Google and here I will inspect this and control F if I press double slash A so here I can see two there are total nearly 20, 16 URL are there okay 60, 66 not 16 let's check so second then this is one more URL okay like this so now I will find out the path now our xpath driver dot find element by dot xpath and here I will write down the xpath like this but now there will be multiple links over there so I will use driver dot find elements and this will have over into one variable all links and here I will create one local variable like this and in this i will try to find out the number of link so total links equals to plus all links dot size i can use and let's close the browser Driver dot close let's see how many number of link we have on google okay now in this case we don't need to open browser so we'll do some changes over there so we can see the total 26 number of links are there so i will use chrome options like we will create one object new chrome option because i don't want to open the browser again and again that is not required then o dot add arguments here i will add head less comment and we'll use this object here so now I'm expecting that browser should not be open because it will take some time to open then to show some output 
if we need the faster result so still no browser is open and total links are 26 so these are the total links we got over here now we'll try to find out the which links are working and which are not so for that uh, basically for first of all we try to read all the link or we try to get all the links so for uh, I will use the for loop integer I equal to 0 then I less than all link dot size and I plus plus and here I'll try to get the link so all links dot get I will take single single link dot get I and I can say so here if we check the URL so the like this is the one of the URL so here we can see that a then class name is there Arial label then this this is the actual link account.google.com then sign out option so href we can use we can use the href or comment so here I will use like dot uh, get attribute so this is one method we can make use of that so get attribute and here I will pass href done and I will store this somewhere so like string and uh, URL so like this or string value I can say or we can say that URL path this will be okay understandable URL path and now this is done now we'll try to print this see so and uh, we can say URL number and here I will some do some modification so plus I plus equal to and plus uh, value so in this way I will get the sorry not value but the name of the variable like this so here I will get the all the URL let's execute this And Chrome tab is started over here, but that will not get open due to our setup. Yes, these are the all URL we can see over here total 26. So, URL number 0, 1, 2, 3, like that. So, let's give some space over here and again execute the same thing. okay you can see the url number zero is this all the url we got over here now we got the all the url now the real box will start that we need to check the every url condition so this is done and now um, so for this uh, i will do that code over here again because we are, we are getting the for loop so this is printed now use one url class u r i think it's capital url class and we'll use url object equals to new u r and l here i need to pass the url path is yes, correct here i pass the url path what's the issue over here add throw exception okay no i don't want this exception to be throw i want the super class of exception like this so the url is passed now we have https uh, url connection is one of the class and here I will use the object like as you can see HTTP HTTP then uh, we got URL object URL dot 
open connection okay this is going to open the connection and what we have here add cast so we need to cast okay no problem let's do done okay so we cast it now uh we'll do or we'll use the this object for the further operation like http http dot i can say uh set connection timeout because we need to check because we are going to check the broken links See, if that link is working then that will be open if that link is not working then it will pass the message and that is not going there is no activity will be there because that is broken so i will just give some like five seconds okay if the there is no uh, we can say that uh, nothing is happening on that url then we will consider the, that url as a broken then uh, also what we can do like we'll use the same object http dot connect okay so we will connect the uh, connect to url and now we'll apply condition if here you say if like http dot get response code is one method get response code is the method okay so we are going to check the response code if that is equal to 200 we know that if the code is response code is 200 or status code is 200 then the link is working there is no issue if it is 200 or equal to 200 we can say that then we will print like CISO and here will be print the URL so our URL is like URL path and here we'll give some space and and we'll print the message like http dot get response message where is message yeah get response message we'll print this if the status code is 200 this if the condition is true then we'll get the this message else okay else we'll do like uh, we can say that again url path plus some space and plus http dot get response code again what is that get response code sorry response message not code dot get Reverse response message like the same way we have done in the if and here uh, we'll write down something like which uh, like uh, we, by which we are going to understand if that particular thing is working or not okay so here I will add not working like this and this is done and let's try to execute this now okay everything is okay Okay, we need to command this thing because this is printing multiple times or couple of times we don't want to do like this okay we need to command this let's command this and run it again here we will try to see the output Total link 26. Okay, okay, okay. For button not working. Okay, so this is not working. This is okay, okay. 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 
only single URL have issue okay so now we can do one thing we can do one thing like uh, here I will try to do something else like system dot out dot there is one error code stem dot e yes e dot e double r and then we can print p r and then print ln okay so here we can print yes good so here we'll try to print all this thing and we'll give some space over here and we'll comment this now let's see what we got Okay, now you can see this is the broken link and this displayed in a red color and every okay or correct links are in a white color so we can do this changes so we can say that on Google there is only one URL which is not working properly or only one broken URL but we have one more URL so I can make use of this so let's comment this and we use the another driver dot get and let's execute with this okay there are 240 links and then only one link which is not working now it's stuck okay now it's stuck total to 40 link and we got out to 4 nearly 4 plus 5 6 7 link Is still executing. Let's stop this. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll do some changes. So we'll apply some weight driver dot uh, manage dot timeout dot implicit weight will try to add for a proud to duration of seconds. 10 second I can say and let's execute again okay now it's 230 minutes Okay, now so you are getting from this. It doesn't is stuck. Again, it's stuck. what happened here this is not required we'll delete this now it's stuck okay this is also not required we'll delete this too and you can see the small code 
to identify the broken link okay let's execute with the this cut is yes I will come on this let's do with Google okay Google is working fine we are getting single URL as a broken link Okay, so even we can do some modifications like uh, integer uh, working URL equal to zero and uh, broken URL equal to zero also. And in if we'll add like if okay if it is 200 then working url plus plus and if it is else then broken url plus plus and after this after this for loop i can say here i will write down in so working url count plus working url and here I will use system dot dot print and I say broken URL account. Okay, let's execute again. Six okay, you can see working URL count is twenty five and broken URL count is one. Let's check with this again. Is it working or not? Only one year list. Okay, rest of the year is also coming. Again, it's stuck. Seven you are showing out of the thirty nine. Okay, there is an issue with the application, I think. So, in this way, we can check the UR is working or not. So, thank you. Uh, in next session or next video, we will try to see something else, some more miscellaneous thing. Thank you.